Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. In today's practice, we're going to create a page to display posts and filter them by conditions using Metabox, Elementor and Facet WP. This is the example I made. This part is used to filter the restaurants by conditions. In my case, the condition is the voucher of the restaurants. The restaurants which have the same voucher will be filtered and displayed like this. We'll create this part using Facet WP. We'll display all the information of the restaurant such as name, image, address and voucher which we used as a condition to filter posts. And, this page is built in Elementor. Since we will build this page using Elementor, we need Elementor first. And, we use Elementor Pro which has integrated with Metabox. I also installed Elementor Custom Skin to have loop to display the listing of posts. We also create a section to filter the vouchers, so I have Facet WP here to do it. As I said above, we need Metabox to have a framework to create custom post types and custom fields. It's free on WordPress.org so you just need to install it directly as usual. We also need some Metabox extensions to have advanced features. You can download them individually or just use Metabox AIO. First, we need MB custom post type and custom taxonomies to create custom post types. And, Metabox Builder to have a UI in the back end to create custom fields easily. The next one is Metabox Elementor Integrator to connect and display custom fields created by the Metabox plugin in the Elementor's dynamic tags. To know the voucher of the restaurant and easily compare the results when displaying the list of posts, I use MB Admin column. However, this is just an optional part. So due to your demand, you can use this extension or not. That's all we need for today's practice. Go to Metabox and create a new post type. Then, in the admin dashboard, you will see a restaurant menu here. Let's create custom fields. Here are all the fields that I created. They are just simple fields so just create them as usual. Go to Metabox, Custom Fields to create a new field group. For the voucher information, choose the checkbox list field. Then, you can add some deals in the choices box. These options will be the condition to filter posts. Since I want to know the voucher of each restaurant, I tick to show this field as an admin column. After creating all the fields, move to the settings tab, choose location as post type. And then, select restaurant to apply these fields to this post type. Now, you will see all the created custom fields when creating a new post in restaurant post type. Just fill in the data. These are the posts that I created as an example. You can easily see the coupon of each restaurant in a column like this. We'll have a list of restaurants, so we should choose the template as a loop. Go to Templates, Theme Builder, and choose Loop. Remember to set the preview for this template. Please be noticed that this template is to display all the posts along with their information on the page. We'll create the filter later. Since the image and name of the restaurant are the featured image and title of the post, add the featured image element. And then, add the post title element. For the address of the restaurant, add the text editor element. To get the restaurant's addresses saved in a custom field created by Metabox, let's use the dynamic tags. Since we saved all the custom fields for post, Choose Metabox Fields in the Post section. Then select the Address field. 
Then, you'll see the address of the restaurant displayed immediately and correctly. For the voucher information, do likewise. Now, all the restaurant's information has been displayed. Save the template and remember to set the condition to apply this template. Since we will use this template for all the posts in restaurant post type, I choose this option. Now, let's create a new page. Then, edit the created page with Elementor. All the restaurants are a list of posts, so I added the posts element. Since I have Elementor custom skin to create a template for the restaurant, I have some settings here. Set the skin as custom. Then, select the default template as the one we've just created. Next, go to the query section. Choose the source as the post type you want. In this case, it's restaurant. Now, the preview shows all the posts with the information as we want. Let's see how to add a filter section in the next step. We'll use Facet WP to create a section like this. In the admin dashboard, go to settings and choose Facet WP to create a new filter. Since we will filter the post by the promotion of the restaurant which is saved in the voucher field, choose the data source as voucher in the restaurant post type. Save the changes and copy the shortcode of the facet. Then, go back to the Elementor Visual Builder. Add a shortcode element to paste the code we've just copied. Apply the code. You will see a section to filter posts in the front end. All the restaurants having the same coupons are filtered correctly. To style the page, go back to the template which is the loop that we created. After that, you can style each element. Here, I just do it for example. All the changes in style will be applied. This is how it looks in the front end. The filter section created by Facet WP works well and all the posts have been filtered. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try other methods, please watch our other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe us for more tutorials. Bye.